Trams are cancelled, there's no taxis, and I've got a lecture at night. I didn't suppose Dad could give us a lift. Then. No. No, will he? But he'll be busy, won't he? I'm just trying to get in. It's not like I'm lying in bed. I wish. You okay? Just, you seem a bit low. Yeah, I just, it's not in the mood for work. You're not having second thoughts about the bistro. Look, I know you weren't sure at first, but you're killing it over there. I'm selling food instead of undies. Still, still shifting stuff. Yeah, but I thought now your dad was involved. It's like a family business. Anyways, I'm going to try to talk my mum into giving us a lift. See ya. OK. See you later. Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. We're building up a collection of images of our perfect day. But I do need your input. Mm -hmm. OK. Like that. Mm -hmm. And that. Yes. Less keen on that than this. Da, 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 da. No, 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 we've got a whole list of things that we both need to go through. I mean, some of them are obvious, like what time of year? Easy. Summer. Mm -mm. Winter. Winter weddings are romantic. I mean, sure, if you live in the Swiss Alps, but I'm not wearing a cagoule and willy boots. Yeah, but now the May date's off the cards, the world's no, our oyster. I am not giving you a lift. You can walk. See you later. What's all this? It's a mood board for the wedding day. Yeah, of course it is. Hey, I tell you, Summer, I will be in a foul mood if I'm sat at the back of the church. Well, there may not even be a church. This is what I'm saying. I, I want us to get creative and think outside the box. We could get married in one of those perfumed gardens in Marrakesh. Oh, well, if you're paying, I'll be there. Yeah, it sounds lovely, but probably out of our price range. Oh. Couple of hot pots in the pub. <laughs> no. No, there will be no reception in the pub. But I don't want you to worry about money. We're going to wrangle some stuff for free. I want you to think about what we love about each other. Right, I'm going to go get ready. And I'm going to leave you to think about this. Ooh. Listen, guys, thank you all so much for coming back and setting up again. It sends out a really strong message. It's really good. Thanks. Thanks. This is mad, you know. The market shouldn't just open again like nothing's happened. Well, so you think of the first sign of trouble, we should just be chucking the towel then? No, no, that's not Good. what I'm saying. Good! And you know what? I think we should be staying open till the 18th, as planned. Otherwise, Griff wins, don't No, babe, 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 babe. He's been locked up. Look, I'm with Maria. People should see the community are united over all this. Mm, thank you. Hey, I'll tell you what, mate, we're lucky that you managed to stop Griff before someone got killed. Yeah. Yeah, we're lucky to have people like Spider who are willing to put their lives on the line to protect us from people like that. But you know what? You stood up for what you believed was right, no matter what it might have cost you. I'd like to think that I could do the same. The one you're on? Yeah. I mean, I was for years, but you know, I didn't seem to bother you much, so... I mean, so we can talk through the plans for the next delivery now you've seen since. I don't have a choice. Yeah, you made that clear. Look, I wanted to reach out. I should have. But now you've got some drugs as if you thought, oh, you know what, mate, I'll, uh, I'll kill two birds with one stone, yeah? Yeah, well, I would have rather had a birthday card. Look, I've been a lousy dad. Lousy dad. <laughs> but I'll make it up to you. I'll be the dad you want me to be if you give me a chance. But, but, but there's just this little favour you want me to do. Look. Loads of drugs get smuggled into the country like this. All you have to do is keep your cool. And what if someone else opens the package? They'll find bottles of balsamic vinegar, top grade. The only person who knows what's in that package is you. And what if it goes wrong? Drug deals do. I know from experience. You throw me under the bus. If you do your job properly, it won't go wrong. Yes, Harvey. Look, I told you. <laughs> I'm not like Harvey. Now. Underneath the bottles, there'll be a tightly wrapped package. Take it out, keep it safe, and I'll be in touch to tell you what to do next. What, and, and, what, and, you, and you, you shove it in some balsamic vinegar, it makes you Pablo Escobar? Look, it'll be fine. I've got total confidence in you. The nurse from the clinic said I should have three meals a day and three snacks. 
Sometimes I only have one snack and I'm full. Yeah. You don't have to be strict about it. You're an intelligent woman. And she also did say how well you've been handling your diabetes. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate it. Well, I want to make sure I'm taking extra care. You still can over food later? Uh, yeah. That's meal number two sorted. Oh, come here. <laughs> see oh. you later. Yeah, see uh, you later. I'll drive. Thanks for the lift. No worries. Oh, we'll see you soon. Shot cappuccino, please. Come on. Hey, how are you feeling today? Like I said yesterday, I'm fine. But they're all superficial. Can I get a double espresso? Sure, you're all right. Yes. Don't make a fuss. Well, he has definitely still got a soft spot for you. Oh, stop it. That's nice. People worried about you. Yeah, but if I have to say I'm fine one more time. I've just got a perforated eardrum, some bruises and burns, and a graze on my forehead. That's horrible. I'll live. Yeah. The trauma of it. You know, what those people were trying to do. Bring it on. I eat people like Griff for breakfast. There you go, ladies. Thank you. And still, it's not just your physical injuries. You know, there might be psychological effects. <laughs> Are you fishing for business? Where there's blame, there's claim. Uh, no. Although I do actually want to speak to you about that. But first, I got you something. What? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Well, it's a care package. Snacks mainly. You know, you got a scented candle, an inspirational quote on a fridge magnet. Oh. Oh, I got this for Michael to train Glory. I'll just go and swap them. Can you do an inventory on the freezers later? Oh, don't yeah. forget we got that party mate at lunch. You trying to get us closed down? What do you mean? The apron just lying there. The bacteria can cross contaminate. Oh. Oh, um, really? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. Oi. It's dead important, mate. We'll close us down over something like that. Is is that it? Well, you can thank your dad for hooking us up with that new supplier. I mean, I can't say I was impressed that he was interfering at first, but that olive oil is actually really nice. Yeah, it had a bitter, peppery taste. Yeah, we've got a box of balsamic vinegar coming later as well. I will know that. Um, and, and don't worry, I think you'll go back to being a silent partner from now on. OK, can I just talk you all through the specials? We've got a flat iron steak. It's got a massive markup on it, so sell it hard. Well, I'm your man. And it comes with chimichurri sauce, so it's nice and spicy. Oh, we're out chilies. Oh, OK, well, I'll grab some when I get out later. How, how, how big are these steaks? Uh, we've got eight ounce and a couple of twelve. Right, so if someone wants one, you assume they want the big one. I mean, they usually say yeah, so... Yeah. And if they don't bite, then you can uh, threaten them. Oh, no, that's your old joke, isn't it? Joke. He's good, isn't it? There's always light if we're brave enough to see it. Uh, it resonates with me, but it works for all fifths. This is so kind. You're welcome. Now, tell me the real reason you wanted to meet up. Okay. I, I thought I might just float the idea of you coming back to work as soon as, but on your own terms. I'm really struggling without you. I mean, look at me. I can't even get the right gift to the right person. Oh, I'm sure Glory would have loved the chocolates. Yeah, we're making similar mix-ups at work. You know, buyers, sellers, divorcees. The legal profession needs someone with your integrity and your fight and your efficiency. Yeah, all right, all right, you're going over the top. I'm not Michelle Obama. Mm, one day. Well, look, I was thinking of calling you. Especially now Griff's off the scene. I feel like I don't need to keep such a close eye on my family. I want to come back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, why are you ringing? To let her take a running jump. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, you lied to me. You let Griff into the house. I know. Well, I, I was terrified. Fine. Right, OK. What time? Two o'clock outside the chipper. Thanks. OK. Bye-bye.
What? You think I shouldn't? Well, I'd rather you didn't. Especially after everything that's happened. But if any of this has taught me anything, it's that I have to respect your views, even if I don't agree with them. Right, OK. Yeah, mate, I'll grab that. Uh, save you back. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, and, uh, and if any of the deliveries come in, um, I'll grab them I mean, if you like. Police are here. What? The party mate that I told you about before. Having a retirement do for one of the colleagues. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, there's, there's no dogs allowed. Oh, no, no, it's all right. They rang ahead. We're making an exception for a local hero. We're having a retirement do for Maggie. She's a dog handler. This is Simbad. He's retiring, too, after years of loyal service. Oh, is he? So cute. <laughs> well, can I recommend the flat iron steak? I mean, especially for Simbad. He loves a steak. Well, if he's retiring, I think he deserves a 12-ouncer. 12? Uh -huh. 12? <laughs> I'll be having one of them. <laughs> He'll be fine with his biscuits. Let's get some drinks in. Do you do mocktails? Yeah, 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 we do. I'll, I'll just grab you the list. All right. Uh, listen, I'm just going to nip back to the car. I'll be back in five minutes, OK? Yeah. OK, there we go. Let's put those in the middle for you, all right? So, he's a, he's a sniffer dog. One of the very best. He's had a very distinguished career. Caught a lot of villains, haven't you, mate? Good for him. <laughs> I can smell the steak. <laughs> Something bad. Chill, mate. You're retired now. <laughs> On. Yeah, 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 she's good. She's re really well. It's just I saw her with this couple earlier. Um... Oh, oh um, yeah, that'll be um, Esther and Mike. We've been uh, seeing quite a bit of them. They've recently moved to the area, I've known them through the church. And, uh, yeah, I suppose everybody's going to find out sooner or later. Um, some has agreed to be a surrogate for him. They've been happily married for years and they can't have children, so she wants to help them out. All right. Well, look, tell me to keep my nose out, but that Mike was in the bistro the other night and he uh, was chatting me up. No. That must be some mistake. You sure it was him? Well, he offered to buy me a drink. It was definitely him. <laughs> OK, here we go. Two large flat iron sticks. Delivery. Oh, yeah, coming. Uh, no, I'll get it. That's fine. It's just balsamic. Uh, can we get some water for the table, please? Yeah, just one second. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, accidents oh, happen, oh, but... Sorry, Craig. But don't just stand there. Get some towels. Oh, yeah. Now. Right? It's on me. Jesus. Oh. 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 It's you. Oh, it stinks. Board. Hmm? To find inspo. So instead of being obsessed with gold and blush, we are gonna think outside the box, find some other hues. Steady on. Although I'll have to tone in with the colour of the venue when we find one. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you later. Oh, Jenny's just cancelled on this event I'm holding at my hotel later. She's taking Teddy for a checkup. So I've got tickets going spare. Any takers? Huh? Could be a belter. Is that like a sort of licensed villa thing? Making small talk with a bunch of boring real ale anorak drinkers, no thanks. I'll go. If Chess can mind the kids. Right, well, they're launching a brand new, trendy, you know, cool English sparkling wine. Yeah. It's all very hush hush. Oh. Well. There'll be drink, uh, food, obviously, and a top renowned DJ. Do you mean Ryan? DJ Tatibo. He's actually really good. He's got a massive following. 
Now, listen, he's only doing it as a favour for a relative. This is exactly the kind of vibe I want at the wedding, or the party, or the after party. Music is very, very important. Well, as long as he plays proper tunes with words. <laughs> you know, I think I will come to this deal. Got Hi, hey, mate. How's Max? Still spouting nonsense. Mm. I keep on wanting to challenge him, you know, especially after everything that's happened, but at the same time, I don't want to push him away. I'm sorry, mate. I begged my handler to step in and pull Max out. He told me to keep my head in the game. Maybe I should have defied him. I keep going over, you know, what I would have done differently. Max is a good kid. He's young. He can be de-radicalised. Just got to hang in there. Oh, it's been lovely having Jake to myself for a few days, though he has been missing Liam. Yeah, they get on really well, don't they? He's a cheeky so and so now. We played this prank on me the other day. You know when they call around the edge of the coin and ask you to roll it down the front of your face? Wonder who taught him that then, eh? Right. Earth to Gary. Sorry, yeah. Um, so is Liam. Cheeky, am I? Are you all right? You seem a bit distracted. I'm worried about her. You know, ever since she's got on the council, it's been non-stop aggro. I mean, you know what happened yesterday? There's just some awful people out there. Well, talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'll try again. All right. Nice to see you. See you soon. Right. Yeah, sorry, I can't stay. I've got a meeting in half an hour. Do you really need to be there? Come on, after everything you've been through. The trolling, the deep fake video, a bomb. Is it not time to take a step back, babe? Well, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but I love being on the council, OK? I'm not giving it up. All right, well, can you just keep more of a low profile, then? Yeah, pull back on the campaign and it's it's dangerous. All right, you've made your point. See you later. Daniel! Right. I think I might have sorted a massive part of our big day. So the perfume gardens of Marrakesh? No, the music. If he's available, there is an amazing DJ playing at this do I'm going to later. Oh, what do? Well, slash product launch. I'm going with Gemma and Glenda. You... You haven't put anything on the mood board? Yeah, there's no mad rush. Oh, no. No, there is. And there is tons to do. That's why I'm checking out this DJ tonight. <sighs> you can't book a DJ when we haven't set a date. Well, we talked about May. Yeah. And I'd like to stick with that. This guy is really in demand. Do you mean this, May? When were you thinking? 2024. I want Bertie to be old enough to remember it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, why, why don't we just wait till he's 18 and then we can have a really big bash? I wasn't thinking that far away. You've had two chances to set a date and you're giving me the swerve both times. I might nip home for a bit, will you cover for me? I'll be back soon, yeah? Somewhere on. I'm not, not really feeling too good, mate. I'm gonna go live with my mum in Devon. She's gonna pick me up from the train station tonight. Well, I think you're doing the right thing. My dad tried to use his phone call in prison to talk to me, but... <sighs> I didn't take it. But I'm glad we called the police. 
If I'd had any idea what they were planning, I wouldn't have gone near. But I was just glad to hang out with people who made me feel welcome. So come with me. Escape from this madness. We're public enemies here, Max. That's not going to change anytime soon. So, what you're saying is you were relieved when you found out we couldn't get married in May and now you're using Bertie as an excuse. That's not true. Gemma and Chesney are going to be on their silver wedding before we get anywhere near saying I do. I assumed that this was the beginning of the planning stage. Nothing set in stone. Oh, you led me up the garden path. I'm starting a new job. I want to get into the swing of things before I start planning our big day. 18 months. We get married this year, or I find someone else to marry. Cheers, Maggie. Happy retirement. And to Simba. Oh, there. He's onto something. Could be all that yummy food in the kitchen. That wouldn't cause him to behave like this. Can we go inside? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. What's in that box? Uh, just balsamic vinegar. Yeah, we've got a new supplier. Are you sure there's nothing else in there? <sighs> this is a bistro, not a drugs den. Where's Jacob? He went off. He said he wasn't feeling very well. He's on the scent of something. We need to find Jacob now. Are we? You okay, mate? You're all sweaty. Yeah, no. No, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling a bit rough, mate. Um, yeah, yeah Nicola Ann sent me home, so. Do you want to yak in someone's dinner? <laughs> yeah. No, I, just, I, I, need, I need the bathroom. Hey, I, I was only joking. Thanks very much. Keep the change. Ah, uh, it's the lady. I just wanted to come and say how impressed I am that you've got the market up and running. Thank you. Seriously, my phone's been lighting up with people singing your praises, especially after such a nasty attack. Yeah, well, we just need to carry on, don't we? A bomb attack in our own backyard. Caught us all off guard. Of course, could have been averted if we kept it as a Christmas market. Nonetheless, job well done. I'm sorry, Len. I'm going to be late for an appointment, so... Oh, I suppose I'd better deal with the press myself, then. The press? Yes. I've arranged a television interview at the market. I thought it best that we get ahead of it and present a united front. But if you've got somewhere you need to be... No, no. That's fine. I'll be there. I'm glad to call oh, you. Yeah. Look, whatever it is, can we chat in a bit? I'm late to meet Esther and Mike. Well, actually, it's um, it's about them. Oh, well, then I definitely don't have time. All right, will you please just respect my decision about this? Mm -hmm. I am. I am. I don't understand it, but I'm trying. All right, then, what is it? I bumped into Leanne earlier. She said that she'd seen you with Mike and Esther. Leanne said that she remembered Mike from the bistro, and apparently he made a pass at her. What, and this is you trying not to meddle? You know, I wouldn't be a surrogate for a cheat. What am I supposed to do now? I am just telling you what she told me. Well, she must have the wrong guy. I just thought you needed to know. That's all. Very convenient how, if this is true, it puts the whole surrogacy in doubt. You know what, Summer, you're right. It does. But I'm damned if I tell you and I'm damned if I don't. You're an adult. You figure it out for yourself. Jacob, mate. I'm fine. I just need a minute. It's, it's not that. Craig is here with the police. And a dog. So they need to speak to you. I'll be out in a sec, yeah? I've just been sick. I've been... Hey, 
Craig says you need to come out now. Yeah, one sec, okay? I'm coming. Oh, you're back. No, I can go back out if you want. No, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Did you get to say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah, she's gone. You don't have to pretend to be unhappy. No, I'm not. Um, I know you really liked her. Yeah, not enough to go with her, though. She did offer, but I didn't want to leave you. Really? Well, you know, you, Lily, Shona. Right, yeah. <sighs> well, thanks for sticking around. Do you really mean that? Yeah, Max, I, I've told you a million times, you know, you can talk to me. Probably the only one I can chat to in the street now. I mean, how, how did I let it get to this? Well, only you can answer that, you know? But I'm here to help, and I think you should just keep your head down and just wait for someone else to do some daft, because they will, and when they do, You'll be last week's news in no time, all right? Believe me. <laughs> you cleaning? Yeah, it does happen, you know, <laughs> actually. Although I think I've taken the varnish off all the surfaces. Yeah, but it's actually quite therapeutic. Right, well, if you need any more therapy, my room could do a once over. Oh, I've missed that cheek. special cuvette. Now, there's a rosé version to try as well. I love champagne, me. It's sparkling wine. It's not champagne. It isn't French. I don't care what it's called. It's free. I'm getting hammered. No, Gemma, it's a tasting. You swill, sniff and sip. Now, the uh, the brand's called Sparkletons. I think the name needs a bit to work. But there's a there's a feedback form on all the tables. Okay. Uh, right, now. I was about to say, you might get a, a subtle hint of molasses as it uh, gives it its fizz. Proper nice art. No, I'll keep them coming. Cooey! Oh, you need to catch us up. We've already had a glass of shampoos. It's not shampoo. Oh, I give up. I got you a name tag. No, thanks. They'll remember my name, trust me. Everything OK? Yeah. It is now me. You can eat as much or as little as you like. <laughs> we won't be offended. Well, that's very kind of you. How's Billy? Yeah, yeah, he's all good, thanks. I'm getting used to the idea. Well, he's trying to. So are Paul and Todd. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike, but I have to ask you about something. Well, it's probably nothing, but um, our neighbour, Leanne, who, who runs the bistro... Oh... Do you know what? I know exactly what you're going to say, and the instant it came out of my mouth, I wanted the ground to swallow me up. <laughs> I, I attempted a joke, and it just didn't land. <laughs> yeah, I had a few to drink, and she just took it seriously. What's this? A misunderstanding, from the sounds of it. Leanne thought that Mike was flirting with her in the bistro. I'm, I'm sorry to have brought it up. Oh, no, no, I'm glad you have. It's, it's been playing on my mind ever since, but my sense of humour sometimes misses the mark. <laughs> He's uh, forever saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> talk to Todd. He's got that habit as well. Yeah, I will. We can uh, compare notes on the world's worst faux pas. <laughs> right, I hope you're OK with a mixed bean salad. <laughs> After that rose, eh? I'll listen to your chat on. <laughs> right, well, since you ask, rose has an increased fermenting time with the grape skin. Yeah, that's what gives it its... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I said I would listen to you if I was drinking it. You've hardly said a word since you got here. 
That's because I have very little interest in listening to Debbie harp on about yeast. Are you ignoring Daniel? I'm not ignoring him, no. I'm rejecting him. There's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just over here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Keep yourself set up. Yeah, sure. Let's get this flight started. <laughs> Now then, ladies, this is made with a fructicola yeast. Hey, do you think if we chat the rep up, you might give us a bottle to take home? <laughs> oh, good luck with that one. Trouble with a man like that? Gorgeous, but he knows it. Still, I might not remind him. You're definitely going to stick around. He's gone round twice. I'm happy there's nothing here. The only pungent smell was a pair of boxer shorts in the laundry basket. <sighs> Lads, eh? Can we not talk about smells, please? I, I was still feeling a bit rough. I only just made it home. Yeah. Sorry, mate. And you know how it is. We just have to check this stuff, especially with your... My history. Yeah. That's all in the past. All right, well, it's good to hear. Yeah, well, you should probably just get going now. Um, I wouldn't want you, uh, want you to catch anything, you know? We need to breathe anything in, so. I hope you get better soon. And again, I was sorry for intruding. What on earth's going on? Ryan, can you check this box? Yeah. It smells fine, but, you know, I'm not a dog. What are you doing? Well, Craig said that Jacob had nothing on him, so it must have been something in this lot that set the dog off. Let's just leave it. No, cos what if the new supplier sent us something that's gone off already? Well, anything could have set the dog off. Uh, smell of steaks in the kitchen, flowers, your perfume. Are you saying I smell bad? <laughs> just dogs have sensitive noses, don't they? So do I when it comes to me perfume. These artichokes have got a bit of a whiff about. Oh, maybe it's them, then. Yeah, it's all going to go off if we don't put it away. Why don't you go on your break, OK? And me and Ryan can do it. Yeah. Maybe I'll do some online shopping, you know, get something a little less kennel number five. How are you feeling? Yeah, not good. Uh, sorry, sorry if I was in there a while. It must be bad if you've been sick twice. Well, now that it's all out, do you want to tell us why the police were here searching for drugs? Did I not tell you? Yeah. I still don't understand it, Jacob. I don't know. I mean, the, 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 the police dog seemed fine when I left the beast or next thing I know, they were hammering on our door. Craig said it must have just been a false indication. Yeah, but why did they then come here? I don't know. I, I, I work at the bistro. I have a history. Probably thought I'd done a running with something. I mean, I'd, I did leave quickly, but it was, it was because I was ill. Oh, I was pretty shocked when I answered the door to them. Really was not expecting to be sniffed by some dog for no reason. Right, I'll catch you guys later. If you need help from the shops, just text. Yeah, cheers, mate. Now that he's gone, do you want to tell me what really happened? I told you! I know. And I don't believe you. Oh, OK. What? What, so you think I'm dealing again? No. Then what? S something just feels off. They brought a sniffer dog, Amy, and found nothing. Okay. I've got to pop out. I thought you were sick. Yeah, I know. But I want to apologise to Leanne and Nick, you know, for, for running off so quickly. Look, before I lose my job, it won't be long. So you like, but I know the truth. Could have done more. It should never have happened. It's not that simple. Come on, you are putting yourself in danger. Without you there, it could have been ten times worse. Spider. Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I, I just wanted to say thank you, really, for uh, just telling me to be patient with Max. Uh, it worked. I've just had my first conversation with him in ages. Thank you, mate. I'm, I'm glad it could help. Hi, Mr. Cameron. We're here for Mem Tenny's for the interview. Yeah, I can see how everyone wants you to watch. Look at him. He's turning this tragedy into some sort of election campaign. You know, next year. Shameless. Camera crew, is camera crew? Has something else happened? No, it's in Len Cameron. He's got the press here doing an interview about the attack. Uh, Maria, can you not say anything about Max? I wouldn't, you know that. 
Everyone is talking about it. Oh, he's not going to be able to hide from it. So, you're going to tell me your name? Mm. I prefer to be an enigma. Picture, hold that. Her name is Daisy, and she's getting married to an adorable guy called Daniel. I didn't realize you were engaged. Mm -hmm. Daisy. It's a cute name. Mm. And it will look great in your contact list. <laughs> Next to me number. Well, what if your fiance finds out? Well, he don't look at your phone, does he? <laughs> Mm. But I will need your number too. Dems the rules. Okay. I guess if the engagement doesn't work out, you know where to find me. Mm. It's always good to know a girl has options. Well, this is undoubtedly an incident that's shaken the entire community. Now, I know a lot of these people personally. Oh, I swear, if he mentions Max's right. name, I think I'm just going to have a heart attack. Now, I'm sure he won't. People like that, they only want to talk about themselves. It's a nightmare to be over. I've got a horrible feeling it isn't. Condemn this heinous attack. I'm sorry, I strongly disagree. An attack like this unites people. You know, it should remind us all that we've got a duty to look out for and care for one another. That's what we've always done in Weatherfield and it's what we always will do. And that is why I am determined to carry on the great work that I have started in keeping this community close together. We should never, ever let hate and prejudice win. a bit normal. Can you keep an eye on this one? And she doesn't need any more drink. Dimmy, it's free. That's my favourite flavour. You need to be a good host. Oh, I can do that with you on my oh, 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 you can stick your stars. I'm cutting you off. Right, you need a glass of water, then a taxi home. Where did that rep go? Oh, he went to fetch me a free box of sparkles and thrills, eh? What, you got a free box out of it? How did you manage that? No, I complimented him on his use of fructicola yeast. Well, I'm glad my extensive knowledge could be a benefit to you. And I got his personal number. How's about them grapes? Right, come on. Water, now. Go catch you over now, want some chips. Yeah. How could you do that to Dan? Relax, it's fine. I'm not going to do anything. I'm still marrying Daniel. It's just... it's nice. Nice to know I've still got it. <laughs> and he can be very stubborn. And you can't. I am a catch and you should remember it. Oh, I think he does. He can just be so annoying. I swear I'd have given up ages ago if we weren't so good together and that. <laughs> oh, no, you don't have to pay me a picture. <laughs> a bit rum. And yet you did. Rum, right, okay. rum. Listen to me, I think you are playing with fire, flirting with another fella before you had it. It is fine, it's just a bit of fun. Dan, you'll find some random guy's number on your phone. One is Daniel and one is a DJ. They don't mix in the same circles. It's fine. Fine! I am going to post this picture. Just to keep him on his toes. It's a warning shot. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? and to feel close to nature? Or could it hint at something deeper, such as a manifestation of deep mourning over the planet we're inheriting? As I scroll through my... Oh, come on, I haven't got long. Give me the gear. I haven't got it. Well, look back to us and get it. It's not that simple. The police were at the bistro. Did you wrap me out? Of course not. They were, there, they were there for a meal, but they brought this narco dog, didn't they? And, 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 and the dog started going nuts, so, so we had to bring the package back to mine. Good lad. No. But, but because of my history, yeah, 
they, 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 they followed me back now. I, I told them I left because, because I was feeling unwell and, and, and they seemed to buy it. And they're gay? Well, I had to flush it, didn't I? Oh, you... He was, he was even out to get arrested. You fussed 50k's worth of my product. I had no choice. <laughs> I'm risking my freedom here to save you. But I'm not saving you, am I? I'm burning myself. You, you, you want me up to my neck in here? Yeah. In case I needed a fall guy. And unless you can find 50k, that is exactly what you are. Considering you weren't expecting an interview, you did really well. But please don't give up, Maria. We need you. Thank you. And don't be hard on yourself. Oh. What's all this about? I thought you might at least think about what I said. It wasn't my idea. Right, Lynn Cameron cornered me. I could hardly let him use it as an opportunity for good PR. Right, so good PR is more important than your safety, is it? No, of course it's not, Gary. But it's about sticking up for what I believe in, what I know is right. I mean, it's not so long back that you were too scared to leave the house. <sighs> Look, I understand that you want to do good, yeah, but at what cost? This coming from the man who served in the army. You, of all people, should understand about doing things for the greater good. It's different. Is it? Look, I won't be able to protect you like this. I don't want you to protect me. I just want you to support me. I can't lose you. If I don't fight for what I believe in, I'll lose myself. Who I am as a person. Hey, please, Gary, I can't fight you and all. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry. I'll try and make this quick. You actually beat up your own son. You know, you make it sound like that word means something to you. Uh, it meant something when you were trying to get me to help you, though, didn't it? That's your problem, Jacob. You've always been a soft touch. You're a mistake, Jacob. Even your mum ended up regretting you. Don't you dare talk about my mum. The truth is... I didn't want you. And I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. That's where you're wrong. You're as dead to me as you always have been. A liability that needs to disappear. I'm not leaving. Just beat me, I'll be done with it. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I can take your worst. My worst? It's not me you need to worry about. I won't defend you to him. And once they find out that you lost their gear, you're dead. So what's it gonna be? Run and live? Or stay and die? And don't go anywhere, because Next Level Chef Gordon Ramsay's brand new culinary competition that's epic on every level starts right now. 